All right, so we're working on the Adventure Force um, toy grade, the hobby grade. Uh, kind of let me show you uh, where we've gotten so far and what we still have left to do. So uh, let me just turn around here, show you where we're at, uh, what I figured out, and what I still have to do. So right now, I'm just kind of like piecing things together here, trying to see where things are going to fit. I have the motor installed here, which is a pretty easy fit. Um, kind of show you what we got. Let me pull this thing out. So this just kind of sits back in here like so. Pull my ESC and stuff over here so we can get a better look at it. So see this uh, top part here it goes on the back part of the motor. You're going to have to cut out part of it. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this here. Not really. Okay, see right there, you're gonna have to notch it out if you want to use this cover. Um, and I'd say I would want to use the cover just because it kind of helps hold it in there. There's what three screws there that help hold it in, and then you got two screws on the other side here. So I think with that, it's gonna be enough to handle the torque and stuff like that and keep the motor in place. So that's why I decided to put it back in. Um, so we're just gonna see how that does. Uh, get all this stuff back over here and get the wires out of the way so I can properly set that down like so now What I've been kind of contemplating here is where to put the ESC Because this is the little cover that's got to go over top of that There's not enough room in here to throw it inside there like I wanted uh, So I'd have to cut some of this out Which I'm not opposed to but I'm just trying to figure out if that's the the best way to go because I got to figure out where to put the battery too because this has a short battery lead on it and I'm not going to be able to use the battery underneath unless I kept more of this out which again I'm okay doing I just don't know if that's what I want to do yet so I'm trying to figure that part out and see how I want to go with this um, I did order some more of those small batteries, uh, like the ones that go into WL Toys and the hay boxing, the hay boxing right here, that type of battery. It's a 7.4 volt um, LiPo, so it should fit just fine in here. I've tested the ESC and stuff just to make sure everything works. It works fine. I don't know how much speed and stuff I'm going to get off of it, but that's where I'm going to try first. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the ESC placement and stuff. That's the next step for this video anyway. Then I still have to figure out my steering. Um, I've been kind of thinking about this quite a bit myself. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw something in there like that or I'll lay it down or whatever. I also thought about doing like what you do with a crawler and get this thing kind of lined up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. If it'll work for me. This thing's kind of cheap, guys. Okay, so see how it has the arm that comes back here? Well, the other side does as well. So if you line them up correctly, maybe you can put a, a bar across there to kind of keep the steering in line. And then just run another, put your servo over here or something, and run another piece over to that arm and make that arm go back and forth. Kind of like... Uh, something similar to what's in the Arma, except for instead of having these standoff posts. But you see how they have like the arm underneath there? Maybe I can add something like that. But I would need something like these little towers in order to get the arm on for the servo. Kind of like that. So I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. There's different ways I can do it. Um, I can of course 3D print some stuff there too, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for somebody to just switch this over and get a little bit of experience out of it like it was a hobby grade um, obviously it's not going to be a hundred percent I get that but I'm trying to make it you know something 
that makes sense. Um, 3D printing for me makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't for everybody. So that's that's why I'm trying to stay away from too much of that. I mean, some of that's great. And if I do create a file, I will put it in these videos. That way you can just grab it and go. You don't need to pay for it or anything like that. It'll just be there. Because uh, who knows, somebody might come up with something better later. Um, but yeah, we've got a decently um, feeling plastic chassis here. So I'm okay if we have to drill a couple holes to make some standoffs or whatever. I'm okay with that. The problem that I'm having is if we do that, is that going to be too much for this? Um, is it going to be a lot to put in the truck and kind of like take away from the value? Because we've already spent, I don't know, I forget what this was, like 20 something dollars for an ESC and then I've got a uh, receiver for a Dumbo RC uh, those things are only like ten fifteen dollars but you're already looking at quite a bit of money already there I, I don't want to keep adding more to this and kind of taking away from the sense of it so that was kind of the whole thought process anyway um, I don't know we're just gonna keep playing around with it uh, see where we go but for now um, thinking about cutting and chopping this out and so I can fit in, maybe I'll cut half of it out or something, you know, so I can put my wires down in there, put the ESC in here, uh, something similar to that, I don't know. Still trying to figure out how I want to do that. If I do, I'm going to notch the side over here. That way I can put the wires in here. It already has a notch there. I don't know that that's going to be enough. Let's see where that comes down, actually. Let's see what that looks like. So that would almost be enough. If I just enlarge that, I think that'll be fine. So that may be the way to go. Get that set back down there. That may be the way to go. And then... Actually, I might be able to do something a little bit better than that. So, on this back side here, we're going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to show you the inside of the tray here. Okay, so I got it all unscrewed. That's all it is for the plate. This is where your battery would normally fit. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that it's the exact same shape at the top there. So, what if we take and cut... This is what I'm thinking. So, where would it be at? It'd be on that side over there. So... We'll take and ream out a hole over here to bring our motor wires through. Maybe set our ESC right here, put some tape on it to where it's inside and closed. Um, only thing is it doesn't give it a lot of room to breathe. Um, that part I don't like. Hmm. See, I still like the idea of keeping this as a battery tray. And I thought about maybe putting the ESC inside there. But now I'm just kind of thinking like, I don't know that I want to do that. Just because of the fact that it won't be able to breathe. All right, so my initial thought here was to just pop in an Emacs servo. Figured it would give me enough uh, throw and everything here. So I kind of put back uh, this little piece the way it came. These are the arms that go on the sides of the wheels there. And kind of act as a um, steering arm or whatever the hell you call it. But here's the problem I've got now. So I'm going to have to come up with something completely different. So I'm going to kind of hold this in here just a little bit and show you what's going on here. So here's my remote. Just watch closely. So the problem is I'm getting throw, but it's not enough to throw this out completely. So. If I had a long arm on there, that would work. Um, and again, I was trying to keep all this stuff intact, but I'm not sure that I could do that. Um, I'm probably going to have to rip all this out and just put a regular steering system in. That's the only option I really see at this point, um, which may be a little more difficult for um, somebody that buys this truck. That's, that's my only concern. Um, 
I could do it. I could 3D print stuff. I could glue some stuff in, just kind of hodgepodge it, whatever. Uh, but the whole point behind this was to make it to where a person with a little bit of skill could actually take and turn this into something hobby grade. Um, it's kind of disappointing because I figured this would be enough and it's just, it's not quite there. So, um, but it is what it is. You know, if I had maybe a bigger wheel or something on there that would turn better, I don't know. Um, I'm still going to play around with some other stuff here, but this is where I'm going to end this video for now. Uh, I've got to do a couple different things anyway and get a couple things figured out. So basically this is where I'm at with the top. I'm going to take and notch out the side over here. I was going to use this original notch over here, but it's not quite in the location I need it at. And I don't want these wires bunched up, so I'm just going to take and make a new notch in the corner. Uh, about where they're located at bring it through and uh, I can always use hot glue or whatever to you know seal it you know if I want to waterproof it or whatever um, and then my plan for this is to take and probably cut out this section here plop in the ESC right there then that way if I want to still use the battery compartment I could run these wires down and do it that way which I may still do that um, not 100% sure how I want to do it yet. Um, but I'm kind of trying to get in the, I want to get the battery compartment used a little bit because it's kind of lower for one. And for two, it could give me a decent compartment to fit, you know, a decent sized battery in there without having to just shove it on the top and Velcro it in or whatever. So that's kind of the plan with that. Um, everything is working. I mean, even the steering is working, but it's it's not going to give it enough throw. So it's back to the drawing board on that section. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of thinking before we get the next video out here and see what the best option is uh, to come up with. Um, obviously, we could go crazy all out and put a big servo in there, which I actually have several sitting over here i have a traxxas servo i have an arma servo I have a couple other ones here i even have a micro traxxas servo over here you know i've got a wall full of parts here so it's not that's not the problem the problem is taking this and turning it into something that anybody or most anybody that were to buy this can take in and do something with it hobby grade uh, without a whole lot of effort uh, and obviously there's going to be some cutting and chopping and things like that but um, that is to be expected but I was trying not to make it so difficult that you know it's not going to be for the beginner slash immediate intermediate person um, I don't want it to be too advanced because then what's the point um, somebody will just go buy a Traxxas or buy an arm or whatever. Um, the whole point of this was to get something cheap without going too expensive, make it something halfway decent. So um, we're going to do some thinking on this here before we get to the next part of the video. But uh, again, guys, just uh, be a little patient here with the video. I've had a lot of people ask to, uh, you know, where's the next video? I need this, that, I bought this car, blah, blah, blah. It, it's a process going through all this and I've got tons of other projects to get to too so I have a plan I have you know things that I want to do with this uh, just bear with me here a little bit I am working on it I'm trying to you know keep it at a certain level as well um, so that's kind of why it hasn't been out as of yet uh, it's just a lot of things to get to and really the main part that I've had here is time so um, once I get a little more time, we'll get a little more time on this, do a little bit of thinking, figure out the best option for the servo, and go from there. And then once we figure that out, it's basically just buttoning it up and getting it around. And so um, we'll just see where it lands here. So um, just hang out till the next video here, guys. I'll try to be as quick as I can on it. I uh, just want to make sure I get the best option here for everybody. So um, we'll see you on the next one. Here we go again.